Well, it looks like you're back. And just to keep in mind that these tips are a little bit more advanced than the ones in my previous two videos, or if you haven't checked those out, check those out up here and then come back to this video. Because this video kind of builds on what we've talked about before. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So you might be thinking, how many times are you going to milk one video idea? Well, I guess it looks like three times, maybe four if you like it again. But hey, it's not just me. Look at all these comments. Anyway, these tips are beautiful tips. So first, let's go over what you're going to need for most of these tips. So first, you're going to need OBS. It stands for Open Broadcast Software, which basically means that we can use keyboard shortcuts to switch our video output to Zoom which, as you can tell, is pretty powerful. So we're going to use that for things like my old sticky note trick. Now we can make it a glitch trick and make it glitch into a new video and people won't even notice. And you won't even need a sticky note. You could just do it in your computer. Next, if you're on a Mac, you're going to need Minicam. I'm sorry to say it, but it's, you have to download it. And the only thing that we're going to use Minicam for to output our OBS software to the Minicam software to Zoom you can't output OBS to Zoom. Now lastly, you're going to need the OBS virtual camera. Now I put the link down in the description for all three of these, obviously. What this does is it just allows you to output OBS to Minicam and then Minicam to Zoom. You're probably wondering, what's your first trick? Well, well let me show you. Okay, so for our first tip, you're going to want to subscribe and like the video. <laughs> Wait, just kidding. So our first trick, is going to be building upon our old trick where we put the sticky note over the camera. But this way, we just hit any command that we want. So I could type in command T on my keyboard and it'll switch my video to a video of me paying attention. And it will do this all live so that way your screen doesn't go black and then back to the video of black and back to you if you were using the trick before. Now what's especially powerful about this is OBS allows you to make custom transitions. So you can use this little glitch transition to glitch over to the video of you paying attention and then glitch back. Now, don't tell anybody, but I've used this trick several times in many of my classes. It's pretty useful. That being said, let's get into our second tip. Next up, we have the virtual sets. Now what these are, are based, well, <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. These are sets. So in Zoom, you can already create a virtual background, but you can't put anything in front of you. So you can put things like a desk, a dog, or a cat, or anything you want in front of you. So here's some ideas. backgrounds, and you can cut these out in Photoshop, or there's a website called Photopea that you can use and just cut these out and put them in OBS, and then you have something in front of you. For the third one, we have presenting. Now, I know sometimes that the hosts don't let you share your screen, which might be a little annoying, but this is a good workaround for that. So what's great about OBS is we can share our screen to OBS, and that way it'll look perfect. It'll look great inside your little talking window, and it'll serve the same purpose as the presenting function. So that way you can present anything, even if your host disabled it. You can also put, but hey, I didn't tell you about this, cheat sheets or answers, anything like that, but I didn't tell you, okay? Next, you've probably seen something like two men doing Baba, Baba Booey. You're probably wondering how he did it. Well, I'm sure how he did it was he played it outside his computer, but with my way, you can actually take a soundboard and put the soundboard on your computer and output Baba that Booey. audio into Zoom, which Baba is great. Booey. You can play any audio that you want straight to Zoom. You don't need an external device for it. Now, what I'm using for this, it's called Soundflower, and it's pretty simple to use. You just set your input as Soundflower, and boom, you're done. You set your audio as Soundflower and Zoom, you're done. Now, this last one is more of a tip than a hack. It's called Meter. And what I really love about Meter is it allows me to put in my Google Calendar or my Apple Calendar into Meter and put the Zoom links of the classrooms I need to go to into Meter also. And that way I literally just click up at the top on the icon and click the meter meeting. And that's kind of hard to say, but the meter meeting. And it'll take me straight to the meter meeting. I don't have to open Zoom at all. It'll even remind you, hey, you got to join the meeting soon. 
which is perfect for me. I always forget. We have like 10 minute breaks and I always forget about them and end up going over. And thanks to these notifications, I basically never miss a meeting. That was really hard to say. There's a lot of M's there. You gotta, you gotta like it. You gotta like the video. I said so many M's, you just gotta like it now. And for a sixth tip, you're gonna wanna subscribe and like the video. Looks like that's it for this video. Now, if you guys wanna see an iOS Zoom video, I've gotten a lot of comments about making one of those, and it's in the process right now. I'm also working on another project about David Dobrik. Is it a collab with David Dobrik? No, I wait. Well, uh, you gotta watch it to find out. Other than that, I you can sit here, you can click a button and leave. Do whatever you want, I, I, I'm over it at this point. You know, I've said this like, what, 66 times now? Actually, probably subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand. So, just saying. Just saying. We'll click something. <laughs>